The Rosaltong Youth and Sports Club held its annual award ceremony last Sunday at the St. Francis Community Developers Japanese Hall. The Minister of Culture, Youth and Sports was inducted as the club's sixth patron. Narima Ali reports. The Rose Hall Town Youth and Sports Club MS on Sunday, May 16th held its 31st annual award ceremony where a number of individuals were recognized by the club. The secretary and CEO, Mr. Hilbert Foster, briefly highlighted the club's progress thus far. Today, the club is widely considered Guyana's leading youth and sports organization with a total of 700 activities annually held under education, sports, culture, anti-drugs, anti-alcohol, community development, youth development, counseling, charity, etc. The last 15 months have been the most difficult in our history, but we have responded as we have always done by using a simple formula of hard work, faith in God, honesty, dedication, belief in the work we do, and team unity. Last year, despite the COVID-19, we were able to complete 707 activities, 36 less than 2019, but seven more than the revised target of 700. The Dolphin Award of Excellence was awarded to the following individuals. Leela Ramson, Charles Ramson Jr., Faisal Jafarali, Narendra Prasad, Amanda Dari, Anasha Dari, Terry Holder, Sonia Griffith Ward, Isan Crandon, Charles Ramson Sr., Dr. G. Sugdio, Dr. Cecil Bihari, President of the Guyana Cricket Board, Mr. Bisundial Singh, and two members of the media, Romario Samaru and Brandon Corlett. Member of Parliament Mr. Faisal Jafarali and REO Mr. Narendra Prasad made these brief remarks. Today, as the Rosa Youth and Sport Public Society in the 21st of our ceremony, I think we need to applaud the tremendous work done by this club throughout our country. I feel very humble with this award here this afternoon, the Dolphin Award of Excellence given to me for my little contribution towards humanity. Let me say I'm extremely honored to be part of this distinguished gathering and to be honored by a sports club. Myself, I played cricket for a while also. I want to commend this um, organization and I want to pledge my continued support to Rosa Tommy to Sports and also the Barbies Cricket Board. During the ceremony, the Minister of Culture, Youth and Sport, Mr. Charles Ramson Jr., was inducted as the club's sixth patron and he was sashed by Miss Denicia Henry. The minister delivered the feature address, noting his ministry's plans for the sports sector. I want everyone to know as well that our entire program under the Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sport is going to be changing. We have made it a mission within our ministry. I've, I've given them two missions, two broad frameworks within which we are designing our policies. All of our programs, all of our projects, and all of our projects, our policies, two broad frameworks. One is to develop and showcase young Guyanese talent. And number two is the elimination of racism in this country. The club also honored 21 of its current and former executive members. Each of the members received the Rose Hall Town Newton Sports Club Senate Award of Excellence and a collection of gifts. Miss Irva Giddens was also honored as the first female from the club to be selected on a regional team. Among those honored as heroes were Leon and Joyce Wiggins, Bridget McDonnell, Terry and Lucy Pike, Neville Beaton, Sohan Harry, Robbie Kisun Lal, Keith Hicks, Tyrone Patoya, Simon Naidu, Munish Singh, Joel Pike, Mark Papana, Pamela Brush, Patrick Lewis, Frankie Ross, Don Hicks, Irva Giddens, and Navin Ragu. Ashton and Errol Hendricks played a major role in the formation of the Rose Hall Town Newton Sports Club 30 years ago. Yesterday, they were honored for their contributions towards the formation of the club. Several of the club's most promising players were also awarded.
The junior players recognized for their contributions to the club were Junior Sinclair, Keith Simpson, Silas Tyndall, Mahendra Gopilal, Jeremy Sandea, Chandrapal Govindan, Christopher De Roop, Oma Matadin, and Machu Pattaya. Each of the players received the Neil Williams Medal of Excellence and several gifts for their outstanding contributions to the junior sector of the club over the last few years. Simon Naidu was named Worker of the Year 2020. Marion Samaru copped the Female Cricketer of the Year award, while Kevin Ramnarain won the Male Discipline Player award. Kevlon Anderson made his debut for the West Indies Under-19 in the early 2020, while Kevin Sinclair played for the West Indies senior team at the 2020 level in March 2021. Both players were honored by the club. Congratulations are extended to all of the awardees. Narima Ali, Channel 8 Sport.